The administration doesn't want you here. They're required to let you be here, okay? But we're going to change that, okay? You, yes, because... Oh, 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 you're lucky I don't beat your That's what, okay? My name's Maggie Egger. I'm a project director for the Center for Bioethical Reform. And we're out here today with the Genocide Awareness Project. Um, and we're just here basically to show students the truth of what abortion is. Because um, for a lot of people, abortion is just a word and they don't understand um, what it really is, what the preborn really are, and uh, what abortion does to them. So we're just here to show that abortion really actually decapitates and dismembers tiny human beings. Um, and we're illustrating that point by comparing it to genocide. And of course, every genocide throughout history is is a little different, um, but they do have uh, similarities. So, um, one of the major similarities is the dehumanization of the victims. So, for example, in uh, Nazi Germany, they used dehumanizing words for um, Jews and other target groups. They called them subhuman, vermin, rats, um, in order to dehumanize them and make it easier to. Uh, then exterminate them. Um, we all know the words uh, used in this country to dehumanize black people. Um, and today we use words like a uh, blob of cells, you know, a clump of tissue. And even the words fetus and embryo are a little dehumanizing. I'm not saying you need to just slaughter the child right in front of them. I'm just saying this wouldn't be a problem in the first place. The child wouldn't have a life like living in poverty or something. Well, I, mean, I have, can I, can have I, share, can I share like a yeah. little like testimony? Like my dad was essentially born from rape and his mother was 16, his father was 17, his father was a drug addict, his mother later committed suicide and his dad died of a drug overdose. My dad was adopted and I think God was adopted because here I am at a university having this conversation with you. Mm -hmm. It like kind of like brings up emotions just thinking about it, but I mean, I mean, I'm happy for your like, dad. I really like am, but not situations. every child gets that gets that chance. You're right, but you're like, I don't know, like something. I I have it. I have it. I have something else. Instead of this, the way to stop this is just to go back to advocating to not having sex before marriage. If they want to voice their opinion, that's truly really fine, but to do it in this way is absolutely traumatizing to anyone who's had an abortion and to any of the students on campus in general. Also, we have a campus tour today, and the fact that they're going to be walking by this and seeing this is disgusting to me. <coughs> I'm incredibly disappointed in our campus for allowing this. This is wrong. This is not okay. Abortion is not a casual thing, which they seem to think it is. It's a very serious decision that affects the mother. The that stays with her, her, life. her entire life. It's not like walking by and seeing this is going to be like, oh, like, like, I remember doing that. Started. Like, it's a huge choice. It's a huge decision. To compare it to genocide and child abuse is so wrong. I have friends who have been through child abuse, and when they walked by this, it was disgusting for them to see it. It's just not. There are too many kids that need to be adopted for there to be more. That's the foster care system. That's not the adoption system. Yes, it is. They're languishing in foster care because their parents will not give up the right to have the child. So many, many, many families ready to adopt these children. Then find me some. Okay? So every person. Now, what you can do for me on campus is going to be better. Is every person that goes to have an abortion, you are going to personally find someone to adopt that child if they have the child. Can you do that for me? No, then get off my live, campus. I don't live on your. I don't live in your state. Well, then get out of my state and take this trash with you. Okay? Because I don't want you here, and neither does anybody else. I didn't come to be liked, ma'am. I can't tell you the truth. Yes. I didn't come to be liked. I can't show you the truth. This is not the truth because our nation is killing a million babies a year.